Destructive flooding in Malaysia has killed four people, and 40,000 have been evacuated. Authorities have deployed rescue operations for affected communities in Malaysia. Torrential rains and seasonal flooding hit Malaysia, leaving four people injured and mass evacuations. The flooding took homes and vehicles underwater. The Malaysian Department of Meteorology said wet weather conditions are expected to continue through April this year. The southern state of Johor, with a population of about 4 million people, was hit by torrential rains and flooding, prompting mass evacuations. In addition, Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim explained that flooding is considered a serious problem in Malaysia. He added that flood mitigation projects are crucial to prevent a recurrence of widespread flooding. Homeowners must evacuate immediately because flood waters can become life, threatening or rise again. Flooding has become a major problem because of seasonal heavy rains. Accelerating mitigation plans and projects will help deal with this widespread problem in the region. A landslide killed 11 people in the remote Natuna region of Indonesia. A landslide in Indonesia's Natuna region has killed at least 11 people. The landslide, triggered by heavy rains, engulfed homes. Another 50 people have been reported missing, according to emergency services spokesman Abdul Mahari. Search and rescue teams have been dispatched to the affected area. The death toll may rise. Communications in the area have been disrupted. Survivors are being evacuated from the Syarasan region. The affected area was on a remote island, which is a five-hour boat ride from the capital city of Natuna. Record carbon dioxide emissions from forest fires were recorded. Scientists at Tsinghua University, China, have recorded record carbon dioxide emissions from large fires in the boreal forests of North America and Eurasia that raged in the summer of 2021. Researchers examined satellite data from 2000 to 2021 to measure how much carbon monoxide formed in the world's boreal forests and found a steady increase in emissions over the past two decades. Because carbon monoxide is formed along with carbon dioxide, scientists were able to calculate how much total carbon was released into the atmosphere. Boreal fires, which typically account for 10% of global carbon dioxide emissions, emitted 23% of carbon dioxide in 2021, the highest proportion since 2000. The authors emphasized that 2021 was an anomalous year because North America and Eurasia were synchronously affected by drought. Thus, the increasing number of extreme wildfires accompanying global warming poses a significant challenge to global climate change mitigation efforts. Antarctic ice cover has reached its lowest level. This is an important indicator of global warming. The Antarctic ice sheet continues to retreat amid climate change and global warming. A recent discovery by scientists has determined that the Antarctic ice sheet is at its lowest level. The discovery sheds light on the fact that Antarctica's ice sea is much smaller than it has been for decades since observations began. Melting ice and glaciers are a serious indicator of a warming planet where temperatures have risen since the Industrial Revolution of the 18th century, the benchmark used by climate researchers to compare current weather and climate conditions we have today. In this context, scientists agreed that the climate crisis was caused by human activities due to the burning of fossil fuels and greenhouse gas emissions. The sea ice sheet or ice sheet is one of the main features of the ice continents of the Arctic and Antarctica. It is also a key component of the polar climate system and has been the focus of scientific attention in recent years. According to NASA, this is mainly due to a dramatic decrease in Arctic sea ice cover. Records of satellite data from late 1978 show that rapid changes are occurring in the Arctic, where, according to NASA, the ice cover is retreating at a significant rate. Prior to the February 2023 discovery, the US Space Agency mentioned that Antarctic sea ice was increasing, but at a slower rate than in the Arctic. 
This means that recent results show a paradigm shift in our understanding of the current state of sea ice, especially in the Arctic and Antarctica. On the 14th of February, the National Snow and Ice Data Center announced that the extent of Antarctic sea ice appears to have exceeded the record low set last year. And with the melting season a few weeks away, the retreat is expected to decrease further before reaching its annual low. The National Snow and Ice Data Center estimates that Antarctic sea ice area has decreased to 0.73 million square miles, a new record low from the previous record of 0.74 million square miles set on the 25th of February 2022. In addition, the annual low in previous years occurred between the 18th of February and March the 3rd. At the same time, further reduction of the sea ice cover is expected.